Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? f of m plus 4 equals m squared plus 10m plus 21. And what is f of m? So let's solve this step by step. So you consider the solution here. Let's consider from this left hand side, which is m squared plus 10m plus 21. We have this as a quadratic equation. If I factorize this completely, but the middle term here is known as the sum of this uh, quadratic, we need two numbers that when we add together, it gives us 10. And we multiply it, it gives us 21. If I cite 3 and uh, 7, so if you add 3 and 7 together, we are going to get 10. And also, if you have 3 multiplied by 7, so this gives us 21. And this gives us 10. So we have this as the sum of this. And uh, here is the product of this root. Then after getting this, we are going to replace them as we have m squared plus. So instead of 10m, we change it to 3 plus 7. Then m at the bracket plus also we have 3 multiplied by 7 equals 0. Having gotten this, we are going to group this as m squared plus 3 times m, that is 3m plus 7 times m, we have it as 7m plus and also this is 3 multiplied by 7 equals 0. We have 3 things, 4 things here. We have m raised to power 2 plus 3m and we have 7m plus 3 times 7. Note that 3 times 7 here, they are together. We are going to factor out what is common. So what is common here is m. By factoring out m, we have m plus 3 left in the bracket. Then plus a we have 7, a we have 7. So let's factor out 7. We left with m plus 3 equals 0. <coughs> So therefore, m plus 3, m plus 3 common. So we combine their coefficients together as m plus 7, then multiply by m plus 3. And this is the result of the quadratic. I mean, these are the factors of the quadratic that we have above. We have two factors. It means we are going to get two solutions. So suppose we have to find two solutions. We are going to have m equals minus 7 and m equals plus 3. But that is not the case here. We have to recall back our f of m plus 7. So then it's now equals m plus 7, then multiply by m plus 3. So these are the two things that we got. But the domain of these functions is given as m plus 7. m plus 4 rather. We have m plus 4 as the domain of this function. Then we have to change this one to m plus 7 as well. And also we change this one to m plus 7. For this m plus 7, so here we can deduce m plus 4. And after gotten m plus 4, then we still have a uh, plus 3 at the bracket. And also we have m plus 3. So we need to get m plus 4 from it. But after m plus 4, we need to subtract 1 to get m plus 3. So after we have achieved these two things, then everywhere we see m plus 4, we are going to be replacing it with just m so that we get the result that we need. Here we have f of m, since it is what we need, equals the first one which is m plus 7, we have m plus 4 here, then we change it to m, then plus 3 in the bracket, and also the second one which is m plus 3, which has changed to m plus 4 minus 1, so that one also becomes m minus 1. So let's try and expand m plus 3 and uh, m minus 1. We have m plus 3 and uh, m minus 1. So if you expand this out, because these are not the two factors of a particular quadratic. So to expand this, we are going to have m into bracket of m minus 1, also plus 3 into bracket of m minus 1. So expanding this out, m times m, that is m squared, minus m times minus 1, that is m, plus 3 times m, we have it as 3m, minus 3 times 1, that is minus 3. 
so here we have the two middle terms so here is m square my plus 2m minus 3 and this is the result of f of m just simple as it is so thanks for watching and if you have another method of solving this you can drop it in the comment box see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye